Hey folks, welcome to another quick vlog lesson. Uh, as I said last vlog, I'm actually learning Fuzz Universe by Paul Gilbert at the moment to try and work on uh, some picking technique. As we all know, Paul Gilbert is a god, alternate picking. Uh, but I thought I'd talk about uh, kind of the process, what I'm using to kind of build up uh, the speed and get the, the song learned. Um, now, when I used to transcribe stuff, years and years ago, I used to use uh, Transcribe uh, by Seven String Software, if I remember, uh, which was great because at that time there wasn't many pieces of software that allowed you to kind of slow down uh, files and you could portion things out into measures and bars and things. Plus you could also uh, import video and transcribe a video, which was really, really handy. Um, with the advent of YouTube and everything now, you can, you know, put up a, pull up a YouTube video and kind of slow things down, but you still don't get the kind of full control. Uh, and then I started to use Capo, mostly because I'm on a Mac. Uh, the interface, I uh, thought it was a little bit more um, a useful interface, uh, but it didn't have some of the features of, of Transcribe, so it was kind of, you know, it was just kind of um, a good, uh, nice looking app to use, and it allowed me to do similar things, slow things down, pitch shift, you know, arrange things into bars. Uh, these days, though, because I've been using SoundSlice, for providing animated tab for people on Patreon and for lessons, uh, private students as well. I've been creating SoundSlice pages for people. I've started to actually use SoundSlice for transcribing. Um, I think because I can notate as well as portion up um, audio files and video files because you can just put in a YouTube link and uh, kind of section it up. So I thought I'd show you what I've got so far for uh, fuzz universe so let me just switch here so what I've got here is uh, you know I'm transcribing it there is uh, transcriptions and things out there and there's a lesson of Paul Gilbert himself actually talking about a couple elements of it but as usual with this sort of stuff if you want to really learn it it's you know it's good to transcribe it for yourself you know uh, which is rich for me to say because I've been doing riff lessons for you know 14 years but uh, not the whole song, you know. So, um, what I've done here is I've got the various sections. This is a weird 5 8 kind of riff. And the recording here, I've just got the original recording. I could bring in like some live video of them playing it as well and slow it down. But because I'm notating it and transcribing it, it means I can select uh, sections, you know, and just loop it. Plus, I've got the actual you know, transcription thing here as well. So it's a little bit more involved than maybe using something like Capo or whatever. In that way you can um, loop a section, you know, we're gonna... Yeah, work on it like that, basically. Uh, the cool thing here is, of course, um, if I do have this bit here, this is the bit that's uh, a ball break at the moment, Primarily this bar here, because of the little string skip that Paul was putting in. So this bit here I've been working on, I've got it transcribed. That second pass through was a bit better, but this is how I'd work on it. You know, so I've got the actual notes Paul Gilbert is playing here. I can select any little section I want, much like you would do if you had a guitar profile, but of course the difference here is I've got the actual audio from the recording. So say that bar there, you know, that bugger of a bar right there, that was the one and I was, say I was going to really work on that. You can speed it up. Yeah, and so forth. Yeah, you can see how ropey it is there, so I'm still kind of working on it. But this is how I would do it. Uh, I find transcribe, uh, sorry, uh, sound size really, really handy for this sort of stuff. And then, of course, I mean, when you're syncing up the audio, basically, 
you know, you've got the audio file here and you just you know pretty much how you used to do things in um, transcribe you can let it play and you just mark out the bars basically um, so if it's playing here Have a half time cycle on that, or one. yeah, and then you can just mark out the kind of the measures, yeah. So, really, really handy. I thought I'd, um, you know, just show you that. Uh, Sound Slice is use is free to use, if I remember. I've got I pay uh, a monthly subscription, it's not very much, it's literally like, um, you know, a five or a four or five code or something, uh, and I think that's just so I can, uh, share the pages with people there is a, a kind of teacher account as well but i've not looked at it for a while but it's not very much and as i said you can use it for free it's really really handy uh, for learning tunes and you can import guitar pro tab files so if you want you can import someone else's transcription get the audio from youtube wherever synchronize it up and then you can learn yeah so uh, that's what i've been working on um I'm using obviously Sharble today, but I'm going to be uh, changing this quite dramatically. And something arrived yesterday, actually, I thought I'd show you guys. Just to give you an idea of what's going on. Yeah. Unbucker single coil, no. Selector switch or volume hole in there. What's going on there? Who knows? It's a mystery. But yeah, I'm going to be doing a major upgrade in this. Uh, I've ordered an MJT body. Uh, this my strat here, as I mentioned before, um, has got an, uh, this is a relic MJT body in uh, surf green. So I'm basically going to change this Sandemus into a SoCal uh, with a seafoam green body, which is pretty much the same, just a little bit greener. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going for a humbucker uh, single call. So that's something uh, I'm really excited about. It's been a long time coming because um, MGT are pretty uh, busy with things at the moment with the pandemic and everything. Um, you know, they've got some workloads, but uh, that's something that will be coming. So when that body does arrive, I'll do a uh, master that gear video on it. All the different elements and things. Uh, probably get new pickups. I haven't fully decided yet. Um, this uh, GB is great pickup. Um, I might go bare knuckle, I need to see. Uh, and I'll be using the kind of hardware, but it'll be interesting to see uh, how I'm going to uh, wire it up and things, if you're interested in that sort of thing. So that's another cool thing. Um, as If you've not seen, check out the latest Master That Riff. I was listening to a lot of Gary Moore last Friday. Uh, his early rock kind of stuff. Fantastic uh, kind of playing, so I, was, I thought, why not? Let's just look at uh, you know, Gary Moore Riff. And I've already transcribed um, the riff that I'm hoping to get done this week. It involves a red charvel and it may or may not include, um, well, it will include some playing from Mark Diglio from XYZ or XYZ. I think I've seen this day, it's okay. So, uh, that's what I'm up to at the moment. I hope you guys are doing good out there. Uh, thanks for watching this far and I will hopefully see you soon.